A4 Media, all rights reserved. What's up, girl? Ain't nothing. This nigga ain't here stressing, talking that old off the wall, back to Africa shit again. What? That guy body shit? Yeah, that dumb shit. I'm trying to get up out of here. I hear that. But you're not black. Remember, we only kill black people. Yeah, we only kill black people, right? A4 Media. All rights reserved. I know for a fact that there is a conspiracy between, between the Muslims and the uh, uh, Lincoln Rockwell Nazi and also the Ku Klux Klan. That I really was able to uh, exercise the objective approach to it that enabled me to see that something had to be done to bring this to light. Otherwise, a whole lot of innocent people would be killed needlessly. Well, I very much doubt that any of his followers who really uh, are aware of what he has done would continue to follow him. His followers are violent against Negroes. Against Negroes? Yes, his, his, his followers will go out and attack another Negro like they will attack me. But you don't find those same followers going out and becoming involved in the Negro struggle in any way whatso in whatsoever. You won't want them to give you their loyalty? Not me, their loyalty. I'm not seeking for the loyalty of any Negro. But I am seeking that Negroes, for Negroes to learn how to be loyal to themselves. And when the Negro learns how to be loyal to himself, our problem is pretty well solved. Are you not, perhaps, afraid of what might happen to you as a result of making these revelations? Oh, yes. I probably am a dead man already. What but, do you mean? Uh, well, uh, when, you know, when you understand the makeup of the Muslim movement and the psychology of the Muslim movement, as long as... Uh, any, if I, I myself, in, by having confidence in the leader of the Muslim movement, if someone came to me and I had no knowledge whatsoever of what had taken place and they told me what I'm saying, I would kill them myself. The only thing that would prevent me from killing someone who made a statement like this, they would have to be able to let me know that it's true. Now, if anyone had come to me other than Mr. Muhammad's son, I never would have believed it even enough to look into it. But I had been around him so closely, I had seen indications of, its, of, its, uh, of the reality of it, but my religious sincerity made me block it out of my mind. Have you received threats on your life? Oh, yes. Uh, I first received threats on my life in December. Uh, rather, no, yes, in December. No, not in December, in January. When, I, uh, when it first became known that I had uh, came back to, come back to New York and told the captain of the fruit in New York, who was my right-hand man, formerly, and also the secretary of the New York Mosque and the minister in Boston. When it became known that I had told them, uh, then uh, an effort was made to shut me up. One brother uh, encouraged to go out to my house and shut me up. And uh, it, fortunately, it was a brother who was well capable of doing so, but it was a brother who was highly uh, intelligent. He was academically equipped to think for himself. And what he was told to do didn't add up, and fortunately, he was the one who put out a feeler to me to find out what was wrong. And I opened his eyes. And then he opened the eyes of the same crew whose job it is to do this kind of work. You mean he was going to kill you? Oh, yes. Uh, one of them was, uh, an attempt was made to get one of them to wire my car with an explosive. That one is with me right now. Well, well fortunately, good. while I was among the Muslims, I, I never uh, lived beyond my means. And I have learned how to live within means. And I still have the clothes that I... Uh, 
that was provided for me at that time. I'm in the house that was provided for me, although we're in a court battle. They're trying to get it back. And I have made this statement to them concerning the house that they could have it. If they would take me back, that they would permit me to come before the Muslim movement, the rank and file, and explain or defend myself against all of the charges that they've made against me, they could have the house. But uh, they are going contrary to their own laws by standing up in the mosque and indicting me, but never giving me a chance to defend myself. And they say that no one can judge me but Mr. Muhammad. In this case, Mr. Muhammad can't sit as judge because he's involved in the case. Elijah Muhammad says of the Muslims, we carry no arms and we do not seek to win victory with arms. We do nothing to others that we would not have done unto us. The uh, two brothers were sent after me with revolvers by Joseph, the captain of the fruit in New York. God has made me a better man for you than Malcolm X. I'm standing where Malcolm would have stood if he had the character to stand where I'm standing. Ms. Shabazz, for several months, I carried the picture of your father with all of these bullet holes in his chest. And I looked at the man that taught me, the man that nurtured me, the man that was the example of a man to me. And I wept. Malcolm X was Louis Farrakhan's mentor, his teacher in the Nation of Islam. They believed that the white man was evil, that the black and white races should live separately. When Malcolm X revealed publicly that Elijah Muhammad, the leader of the Nation of Islam, was guilty of impregnating several of his teenage secretaries in direct violation of his own preachings of no sex outside marriage, Farrakhan was outraged. Malcolm, your traitor was the hour. And if we dealt with him like a nation deals with a traitor, what the hell business is it of yours? Shut your mouth and stay out of it. A4 Media, all rights reserved. What's up, girl? Ain't nothing. This nigga ain't here stressing, talking at all. Off the wall, back to Africa shit again. What? That guy body shit? Yeah, that dumb shit. I'm trying to get up out of here. I hear that. But you're not black. Remember, we only kill black people. Yeah, we only kill black people, right? A4 Media. All rights reserved.